everyone and happy new year I'm pretty much doing a new watercolor speed paint uh, pretty much testing the waters with mixed media painting and whatnot and this time I am using a different kind of paper and paint that I than I normally use um, for this painting I actually use Yorka watercolors and uh, for the paper I'm using Canson Montval coat of press paper and my first impressions with this is that it I am really actually amazed on how the how even the paint came out on her skin um, and dress and it came out extraordinary even as you see there it's just like there's no kind of uh, uh, differentiation um, when you know as I'm applying the paint on the dress and skin, it's just like completely even. So I was kind of surprised and I kind of really liked that effect. Um, so for this picture, as you can probably see, uh, it's, I'm pretty much using the same pose that I had in my previous one of my other paintings. And like I said, I was just pretty much uh, testing the water. So I'm just reused the same exact pose from my other picture to this one because I just wanted to see how it will turn out and I think I mostly like it so far and uh, yeah but the only thing I'm, I'm pretty I'm, I really don't like how the face turned out uh, I believe there I got essentially some smudge on the left cheek there I'm not real happy with the nose or lips as well um, as you can see I constantly go back there to try to fix it um, but uh, uh, my favorite part of this picture is actually the dress and I really liked how the inking and coloring and the shading came out on the dress. Um, the dress I actually used a, um, a reference picture for and I'm really glad I did instead of making uh, making something up. I'm not really good at doing any kind of clothing design so I actually have to use references. Um, but I think I, I really liked how it turned out. I, I really like how, how the dress turned out. Um, I think in the future what I'll change is that I'm thinking about using more soft pastels in my pictures uh, for shading instead of using Copics. Um, Copics seems a little bit, little, uh, I really don't have a good handle on them, but eh, it takes practice. <laughs> Um, so a lot of things happened to me back in December, it's just like so many things, it was just bombarded <laughs> in December. Um, so last month um, my husband and I actually celebrated our first wedding anniversary um, and we decided to celebrate it by going up to the Grand Canyon. And uh, We actually uh, visited his uh, mother who actually lives out that way and we all went together um, going from uh, Los Angeles. It was a pretty much a six hour ride and then from his mom's place it was a three hour ride so altogether it was like a nine hour trip but omg the tr the trip went a lot longer than usual because i am telling you guys there was like miles and miles of desert and cacti oh my goodness it was just no civilization anywhere it was like in the middle of nowhere if you your, your car was out there and broke down i i would be really scared because most of the way we didn't have any kind of cell phone service and I was just so bored and I also was really scared if something should have happened you know should happen with my car or, or anything during a trip then there'll be like no way to get in touch with anyone so that was kind of I thought that was pretty scary now before this trip I actually thought I had never that I never had a fear of heights so when we finally got there, that kind of changed. <laughs> um, there were people there who were standing at the very edge of the cliffs and taking pictures and I, and they were allowing their kids to go and play on, along the edge. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, I was going, I actually thought I was going to witness a tragedy. I really thought I that someone was going to fall off the edge of the cliff. But... <laughs> All that being said, I, I thought it was a pretty good trip, and I, I'm really glad I was able to go see it. It was pretty fun. And the next big thing that happened is that my uh, 
stepmother-in-law actually got me a PlayStation Vita. And I always wanted one because I wanted to play the Hyper Dimension Neptunia games. I have all of them to the PS3, but I've been hearing and reading that the Vita versions were better. So I'm playing the uh, Hyper Dimension <laughs> Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth on the Vita, and I agree, it is so much better than the PS3 version. I highly recommend that game. It's so much fun. And uh, of course, when I got it on Christmas, all of you PlayStation users out there would pr are probably aware that the PlayStation PlayStation Network actually went down for like two or three days. It was terrible. Bad. <laughs> I wasn't really able to use my brand new PlayStation Vita system because of that, and wanted to get everything all set up. But it sucked. But what do you know? But. Yeah, I had a really, a really nice holiday. Didn't really do much for New Year, so I just went to bed. <laughs> but, yeah, it's been pretty good. And, uh, not sure, well, I'm trying to go back to school next month, and that's uh, not another thing. And I am actually going back to work full time. So that's something new, I guess. But, yeah. Well, it's uh, that's uh, that's pretty much you know what's been going on in December. It's been so busy, and of course in December earlier part of it, I had uh, final exams and lesson plans I had to do, and then I I was actually surprised that I actually made uh, straight A's um, last semester, so I'm pretty proud of that. So yeah, that was a really really busy month, and I'm hoping I can just calm down for the next couple months. I know that's probably not going to happen, you know, with my life. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this little speed paint. And I hope to make another one real soon. Hope you guys have a wonderful, or had a wonderful holiday. And I will get back to you uh, sometime soon. Hopefully well, I'm not going to make any promises now, so I'm just going to say hopefully seen sooner than later. Bye.